I will give you the overview what we're gonna do today. Um, so um, we will uh, speak about uh, the yoni healing. Uh, what is the purpose? What is the, uh, are the reasons of yoni healing? Uh, uh, I will speak a bit, a uh, few words uh, about uh, neo tantric massage. Uh, I will explain uh, about uh, the signs what we use uh, during the massage. Uh, uh, I will uh, tell you the tantric yoni anatomy, so all, uh, I will explain about the G-spots, uh, uh, all other points, uh, what you have uh, in the yoni, what are good to heal and uh, what uh, can become very ecstatic after healing, uh, maybe they are ecstatic already. Uh, then I will explain how uh, we do the yoni massage. Um, uh, um, this part will include also the yoni mapping. What is the yoni mapping? Uh, uh, it's uh, basically the exploring the yoni, uh, uh, also in the uh, like the, uh, the way how we heal the yoni. One of the way uh, to heal the yoni. Then uh, I will explain about different uh, uh, points: uh, uh, G point, M point, uh, uh, E point. Uh, uh, a point. Uh, so, so uh, I will explain also about uh, who point uh, and uh, the ejaculation, uh, female ejaculation. Uh, what is the reason uh, and uh, uh, how to make it? Uh, uh, then uh, I wish uh, we may have uh, still uh, enough time uh, to tell you the uh, basic of uh, Tantra, the use it, don't lose it uh, method, uh, how I call it, uh, uh, the method of uh, sublimation, that uh, you don't lose the energy uh, through the clitoral orgasm and uh, uh, through the ejaculation, but you bring it uh, to the higher chakras, higher parts of yourself, uh, and uh, yes, in that way, uh, you may continue making love and you're not tired afterwards and you are more, for example, loving or more spiritual, uh, more creative. Uh, depends when you bring where you're going to bring this energy. And then I will explain you about uh, the uh, yoni eggs. Uh, so um, I will pass the yoni eggs. They are different crystals. If you feel, you may hold one, uh, take one, hold through the lecture and feel, uh, maybe it will bring you nice energy, maybe uh, intuitively you will get exactly this one what uh, uh, you need. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, and yes, I will explain you how especially the woman can use the yoni egg in the yoni. <laughs> and what is it for, yes? And now I will speak about yoni healing. Um, basically what is the yoni healing and what is it for. The uh, most uh, of the reason why we need yoni healing, uh, the most of the uh, reasons why the yoni is not healthy is the force insertion. We are living uh, in the circumstances that uh, uh, nobody is teaching us how to make love. Uh, and men uh, read in some uh, sexual books that uh, maybe the woman needs some foreplay, but still, he uh, used it uh, much to less very often that uh, the woman is ready for uh, the penetration. And uh, uh, especially her yoni is very often uh, not ready for the penetration. And uh, the, uh, I call it uh, um, forced insertion uh, while she is not ready. Uh, as a main cause of uh, the sexual traumas, sexual blockages, not feeling the sexuality, uh, prejudices towards sexuality, prejudices towards uh, the uh, man, prejudices towards uh, some kind of way of love making. So, so um, yes, uh, one of the main thing what you can already do, uh, like all the men, you know, please, the one thing what you can remember from this become a healer always and give the woman enough foreplay and the, for the woman please always demand from the man enough foreplay yes and that will change this world for a better place for sure yeah the simple thing yoni healing uh, it's uh, about creating these circumstances that the woman that her yoni especially feel that she felt respected she felt that she is given enough time that she can uh, rebuild her trust 
back to the sexuality. When we give her enough time, she will open up more and the woman will not say uh, every time, oh, uh, I have headache or something like this when uh, you want to uh, make love. Our genitals, uh, uh, the yoni, is the place where all these sexual traumas are storage. Anything would uh, happen uh, to you uh, on uh, what is connected to your sexuality, it's uh, mainly storage there. And uh, the women live affected by this. And the yoni healing is about to find where it is. There are some points I will explain later what are more uh, probable that uh, there is some healing needed. And basically by triggering that point, you release the emotion and after the releasing of the emotion, the pain, what was there, uh, physical pain, emotional pain, energetical pain, it transfer into pure ecstasy. So um, I will speak about it more and more later on, but this is uh, mainly, uh, in short, what the yoni healing is about. Any questions? I use the yoni massage during the uh, neo-tantric massage and tantra movement massage, what is uh, more uh, of my creation. Neo-tantric massage is uh, the massage uh, what uh, was brought by uh, Margo Anand, Kenneth Ray Stubbs. Uh, uh, they, um, in you know, some point, they simultaneously, independently, not knowing each other, develop the massage, what um, uh, start to include the touching of genitals, uh, touching intimate parts of the body, and uh, using the sexual energy in the massage. How you know, probably, in the Thai massage and other type of massages, the genitals the, and sexual energy is not allowed. In, uh, they discover that you can uh, reach a lot of healing through uh, that, and they start to experiment. And uh, somehow, always this massage, it's uh, um, have the same structure, even they do the, did it independently. They, they, uh, they have differences, different people are doing it differently, uh, but the structure is always the same. And uh, the main structure is uh, that uh, you start with the back, then you do the hands, the arms, then you massage the buttocks, then you massage the back of the leg, then you ask the person to turn over, uh, and then you continue with the legs, and then by the By uh, the men, uh, you start with the belly and then you go to the breast. But by the woman, you start with the breast and then you go to the belly. And then uh, afterwards, uh, by the woman, you massage the yoni. By the man, you massage the lingam. And then uh, at the end, you bring back to the head. So you massage the head. So this is the main structure, and how you can see, we go from the more outer parts to the more central parts, from the uh, less intimate parts to the more intimate parts, yes? So that's the uh, main structure of the neo-tantric massage. I will teach you now about the tantric yoni anatomy. So, um, yes, um, there are a few drawings. Uh, this is Yoni, yes. Um, I'm not an artist, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, anus. This is um, the uh, belly. This is uh, the clitoris. Uh, like uh, the hood of the clitoris and the pearl here. Uh, this is the uh, entrance of the yoni. 
these are the uh, outer lips these are the inner lips this is the U point so um, yes I will explain you more things on the way uh, this is uh, also the yoni but uh, cut through so here is the anus here is the entrance of the yoni here is the belly yes and here is uh, the clitoris and um, the upon all the, all the yes this is the G, G spot, A point, E point, M point. We will uh, speak about uh, all the points uh, in the de detail. One of the most uh, famous uh, area is uh, the clitoris. So what I want to say about the clitoris is uh, that um, this is one of the most sensitive uh, part of the human body on uh, this small pearl um, it's uh, more than 400,000 nerve endings uh, are there to compare for the man uh, on the head of the lingam there is uh, what the head of the lingam is much bigger yes uh, it's uh, only half of that amount is 200,000 nerve endings and all men knows how sensitive is the head of the lingam yes so uh, <coughs> this is to make you aware how sensitive can be the pearl the clitoris yes so uh, always approach the clitoris with uh, delicacy with the sensitivity very softly and uh, slowly um, with uh, preferably uh, enough lubricant coconut oil uh, some of the women they like to uh, a more harder approach but you if you don't know that please always be very careful with like with this yes the other thing about the clitoris, uh, what most of the people don't know, but it's getting more uh, known uh, on the Facebook, I see uh, this image more often, that this small pearl, uh, what uh, we can see when we pull the hood of the clitoris, it's just small part of the clitoris. This small part, what is sticking out is just this small part. A, a bigger part of the clitoris it goes like fork under the flesh between and it goes like between the inner lips and the outer lips yes so uh, uh, that's why stimulating these parts like between the inner lips and the outer lips can give the woman very new beautiful other uh, feelings of ecstasy so that's why we also use it in the tantric massage in the, the, the tantric yoni massage so yes um, uh, about the clitoris yes um, in the uh, tantra uh, we uh, avoid the clitoral orgasm we're gonna speak about it uh, also uh, you know like also i mentioned it use it don't lose it yes uh, the clitoral orgasm is explosive you lose the energy so we avoid to lose the energy because if we lose the energy it's kind of game over uh, you don't have power for the healing purposes for continuing for expanding in love expanding in ecstasy yes but we use a lot of clitoral stimulation this is kind of like generator of the ecstasy generator of the sexual energy and we like you know especially for healing other points we need that ecstasy we need that energy so we use a lot of clitoral stimulation i will explain you how and what but uh, yes now you it's good that you know about that so yes um, then um, 
the other most uh, famous point is uh, the G spot. The G spot is uh, usually located on the belly side, uh, close to the entrance. Uh, usually, when uh, the person is uh, when uh, when the person is um, sitting in front of you or lying in front of you, facing you, then when you curve your finger uh, and uh, then in the half of the finger, usually you may reach the G spot. Sometimes it's closer to the entrance, sometimes uh, uh, further, a little bit. It's very characteristic. All the surface of the yoni is uh, smooth, slimy, and the same. The G spot and end point are a little bit different. So G spot is very close to the entrance. The end point is very far. So this one, what is close to the entrance, when you feel something is different, and this <coughs> different, it feels like it's um, like uh, a sponge. Uh, uh, sometimes feels like a nut, uh, like a button, uh, sometimes may feel uh, as a wound. You feel it different than all other surfaces of the yoni. Yes? So that's how you can locate that. Um, then um, we have uh, the U point uh, between, uh, uh, this is urina uh, urinary hole, yes? Between the urinary hole and the clitoris, yes? So somewhere. Uh, there, there is not so much distance, so if you uh, massage there, you massage the U point. Together, massage with the G spot, it gives the female ejaculation. I will speak about it much more later on. Then, when you go very deep, there you can see at the drawing, uh, there is part what is sticking out at the bottom of the yoni, uh, the part what is uh, sticking out a bit. Uh, back to the entrance. You can also uh, feel it uh, like when when you make a fist, it's a ring, you know, like uh, if it's blocked, it feels like harder and it feels closed. If it's not blocked, it feels softer and more open. Yes? And uh, this uh, variety uh, depends from the menstrual cycle also. That's the end point. Uh, it's called end point uh, from the sound uh, of pleasure, what the woman does when she feels uh, stimulated uh, by that point. Uh, it's like, mm. So uh, that's why it's ample. Then, um, very deep uh, on the belly side, behind the G spot, is the A point. Yes? So another ecstatic point. Uh, and on the side of the back, side of the uh, more uh, towards the anus uh, it's the e point another uh, very ecstatic point and of course the, uh, there could be ecstatic points everywhere but those are the most common in all those points uh, you feel different type of ecstasy and those are like the tantric uh, uh, ecstasy tantric orgas like the woman may feel uh, at least 11 types of different organs <coughs> what uh, like only ejaculatory is the uh, sorry only the clitoral orgasm is the one what she lose the energy the all other are uh, like never-ending story you can go on and go on and she can go in ecstasy and uh, she doesn't lose the energy uh, so she can uh, make love uh, with those points for hours so yes, I will uh, go further with this uh, uh, on the further explanation. So that's about the uh, yoni anatomy. Yes, like a picture. <laughs> and yes, please. Would you say that the A and the E point are more on the walls or in the little curve between the wall and the cervix? They're on the walls. On the walls. Uh, rather on the walls, but. It's like, as it's, uh, uh, you know, like the every woman's yoni is different, yeah. wherever it feels, you know. So they are pretty deep, uh, and uh, yes, uh, the uh, usually the end point is more in the middle and is sticking out, like sticking back to the uh, 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 entrance. Yes. Any other questions? 
female ejaculation is triggered by uh, stimulating together the G spot and the U point. Oh, okay. Yes, together. So basically, I will explain you how also. Mm -hmm. Any other questions according the anatomy? End point also you may feel it's like a fist, you know, it's like a ring. But the, uh, this you just feel by, uh, uh, like the woman feel by feeling ecstatic. Those points, the most common points are uh, mainly uh, the points what uh, the healing, so the, she can feel pain, fear or any other emotions there, you know, like when you uh, massage and you may trigger that. Thank you for saying, it's actually massaging the cervix. Okay. Yes, yes. I. Uh, I should say it, it would make it more clear. When you are advanced with the practice, you may feel it. Of course, uh, if like you communicate as well, the woman can guide you. Oh, here I, and you also like you can see uh, by the reactions, like uh, when something is uh, needs healing, then she feel triggered. The signs, you know, like we use the signs. Uh, when uh, you raise the palm like this, it means slow down. Uh, when you raise the palm like this, it means stop immediately. It's just too much. And I will tell you also, uh, during uh, how we do the healing, uh, I will explain you exactly uh, how and what to do for you and for the woman, how to uh, support each other, uh, support the healing in the best way, yes? I will go into the details about it, yes? O uh, also, we use the other signs. This means uh, maybe everybody can do it <laughs> also with us, then you uh, uh, also your body will learn. Mm -hmm. So uh, this means uh, I like it, go further, or uh, I'm uh, ready for you to continue, yes? Because sometimes you say, uh, show this sign, and this means slow down, or this means stop, she breathe through it and then when she feels ready she can say okay go for it yes so uh, and um, if she likes something very much she can also do uh, like with the curves hair uh, uh, hands it means I love it go for it mm. now uh, try to reach the person who is uh, uh, and we can do also the uh, other way of mm. expression of these signs uh, like uh, um, so uh, when you do the piano sign, uh, yeah, everybody do it for the other person on uh, uh, some parts of the body, yes? S you know, yes. So this means uh, uh, the piano sign, it means uh, slow down, it goes too far. And when you do it harder, it means stop immediately. I don't accept it or uh, stop because it triggers me too much, yes? And the, like, the other stroking side to side, yes? It means I like it, go further, or you may continue, I'm ready for, yes? And when you do it harder, it means uh, I love it, go for it, yes? So. We use this uh, during our uh, workshops because if there are many couples, uh, uh, then uh, we don't so much distract with uh, talking. Uh, that's one of the reason. And the second, uh, uh, you know, like very often the woman uh, goes into emotional state when she will say, "Hey, slow down." Uh, the words can uh, uh, bring some emotional charge. When you use just the sign, slow down. It's uh, uh, very neutral, and especially the beginner masseur will not feel uh, trigger. When you are uh, uh, lovers, you have less masks, and you mm -hmm. uh, like uh, le uh, mo uh, more emotion can flow, and so. So if you just give the sign, it's like uh, uh, for more men uh, more acceptable. Oh, I'm do so best, and you still uh, saying, oh, uh, slow down, you go too far or something. Uh, we use those signs also for uh, the other reasons, uh, slow down to not to go over the peak, uh, so not to lose the energy. Uh, so, uh, uh, and you see, you recognize uh, the difference because you know, when uh, someone is uh, like feeling like this and doing like this, uh, it's clearly that it's not uh, because of uh, she's on the peak, uh, she's close to the point of no return. But when she's does like, uh, hey, 
she's like ah, ah, and she does this of course she's not in the pain uh, you have to slow down with the uh, approach because she will uh, lose the energy she will uh, have peak orgasm yes so that's about the signs any questions about and of course you know if you feel like uh, also uh, I have the workshop with many couples you know like uh, if you feel uh, uh, you have to communicate more clearly you just use the words also yes now we're going to go into um, <laughs> how we're gonna do it how we do the yoni massage the most important thing what i always repeat many many times uh, that uh, you don't push yourself in so during the workshop circumstances um, i explained a few times that uh, I go on with the instructions so maybe I say uh, like because I guide all the group but if you feel that the yoni what you are healing it's not open not wet not ready to th th then you don't push your fingers in this is the most important thing because we want to heal her and even if through the all session through the all workshop you will stay just on the surface of the yoni because she is not able to open then it would be great healing for her because she felt respected she felt that she was not forced and that's how she will rebuild the trust towards the man, towards the sexuality. And next time, maybe she will open, yes? So this is the most important thing, yes? That we never push ourselves in, yes? We are there for healing, not for traumatizing again, yes? So, however, I go on with the instructions for the group. You always first listen what the yoni is telling you is she open or not when uh, the woman it's um, already a bit uh, accustomed with her pc muscle she may even pull the finger inside with the pc muscle and that's the best indication that she's ready basically she's inviting you she's welcoming you inside yes that's the but of course not every woman uh, it's uh, uh, so uh, trained with the PC muscle uh, so yes uh, it's not always the case yes but that's the best indication when she um, uh, doesn't have these muscles uh, uh, develop uh, then you can feel is it easy to go inside is it she wet you know like uh, um, so so yes uh, do i have to push myself in or is it easy so this is the indication never push yourself yeah basically uh, what uh, we did before we do this full body massage to prepare the body to make the woman already maybe ecstatic uh, uh, and open and ready for the yoni massage maybe she's already uh, after this massage uh, open and ready yes but how we do with the yoni mapping it's like um, uh, imagine that this is a clock yes and um, so this is the 12 this is uh, the three this is six this is nine yes and um, so at the beginning yeah um, <coughs> at the beginning we massage uh, like with the body with the body structure we went from the less intimate parts from the outer parts more to the inner part to the more intimate parts and the same uh, with the young first we massage the groins uh, with the uh, pressing like the fingers, uh, the thumbs, uh, um, maybe in the same time. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we basically go always from the bottom part 
and we go to the top. And then we go uh, with every moves. We go from the bottom part, from that side, and we go to the top and we come back, yes? So, yes, um, first when we massage the groins, the groins are the place between the leg and the, uh, the genitals, let's say, you know? So we massage with the thumbs, uh, pressing hard, uh, so hard that you can feel the sitting bones in, uh, in the like there in the sitting bones when you feel these bones it's also like for the men uh, there are healing points also there you can feel some uh, uh, healing or ecstatic if it's already healed yes so uh, ma you massage uh, with your thumbs circular movements uh, pressing hard and in the same time you uh, with your four fingers or three fingers you grab uh, on the uh, pubic bone and you may massage there like uh, you can hang on the pubic bone basically and uh, uh, and in that way you massage indirectly the g spot so yes uh, then we go a bit closer <coughs> we massage the outer lips so outer lips is the flesh on the side of the yoni so uh, you massage from the bottom with three fingers. You uh, uh, you grab the flesh and you squeeze the flesh and you closing the outer lips. Yes, basically. And then you circulate like between the outer lips. And then uh, you stay a bit like this there, and then you go a bit further. And again, like you circulate there a bit, and then you go further a little bit. You all the time squeezing and closing them together, yes? And then uh, again, when you reach the top, you come back to the bottom and you do it again, yes? So uh, you continue like this. And then um, after closing the outer lips, we will open the outer lips. So with these two fingers, you uh, grab the flesh on the side of the yoni, like the outer lips. And you, uh, in the same uh, time when you uh, pull them apart, you circulate and massage the flesh between your pointing and uh, thumb. And uh, you uh, do it here, and you go up again, uh, pulling, massaging, and a little bit here, and then again, going a bit up. And then when you reach the top, you come back and you start again from the bottom. So um, then uh, after massaging the outer lips, we gonna massage the uh, under flesh parts of the clitoris. So we will massage the place between inner lips and the outer lips. Yes, so, so uh, like uh, you can, uh, we may do like with two fingers going up and down, stroking and uh, like uh, uh, we always use uh, only coconut oil for the massaging the yoni uh, without any essential uh, smells or whatever, only the coconut oil. Any other oil, it's uh, uh, fighting with the flora of the yoni. The coconut oil, it's only the oil what is supporting the flora of the yoni. So it's, uh, uh, and also uh, the other uh, factor about the coconut oil, it's uh, uh, also the disinfectant, you know, like, so, so it's, uh, uh, you basically clean there, yes? So, uh, we may massage, you know, like the, uh, like uh, the zigzag movement. You can do it with one hand, you can do it with two, f two fingers, yes? Uh, you can do it with your knuckles like this, that you move up and down, yes? You can do also the movement like slalom. So, so yes, there, like, and um, then you can, uh, like, there is also the movement that uh, I call it uh, Tour de France. So basically, uh, you go around the inner lips and you go, like, uh, from the, uh, like, bottom of the entrance and you go and uh, 
you go around the and you uh, like pressing you know like and uh, circulating and go around and you do maybe a few times and uh, yes then we go into the uh, inner lips inner lips are m much more sensitive than the outer lips yes so you do it much more gentle and again we do the same what we did with the inner lips we uh, first we close the and we circulate like this with uh, we squeeze them together and then we go up uh, we massage here a bit and then we move up we massage here a bit and here so yes um, and then we start again from the bottom and we do it maybe a few times and then um, much more gently we um, open we close the inner lips now we open the inner lips so much more gently they are much more delicate you do like uh, you squeeze you roll and you open them and you uh, massage and you go up and when you are up then uh, start from the bottom and a few times uh, it is healing also you know uh, uh, in all those parts you know like uh, uh, you may feel uh, already the and also can be a, a release of the emotions and so you uh, we go uh, uh, usually we not go into the healing of those parts but it's good to notice for the woman and maybe also especially if it's your partner to communicate oh maybe we heal it next time you know like uh, at the workshop circumstances we're not gonna uh, go for the specific points what the woman choose uh, we uh, i uh, for the workshop circumstances i always indicate that uh, we go for the healing of the g-spot because this is the most common point what needs to be healed uh, but it's good like uh, in uh, the lower circumstances or if you like feel oh this is the point where i you know you can even s say uh, like hey I need the groin uh, massage and this can uh, uh, bring you the best healing what you actually need. It depends uh, from your individual uh, uh, um, need, you know, like where this trauma is storaged, what you feel it needs to be healed most. But in most of the cases it's the G-spot, that's why for the workshop circumstances I always choose that we go back later on on the G-spot. But now, uh, like we basically uh, we exploring the yoni also. Like I give you the tools what you can use basically uh, uh, for the future. You know, like uh, to know th all the spectrum. Yes. So, yes, um, we ma uh, we massage the we opening the uh, outer lips, and then later on we uh, with uh, two uh, fingers like this we may keep them open like. Uh, uh, and uh, with this uh, uh, hand we can massage up and down the same strokes you know like but just on the uh, inner lips yes so up and down zigzag then we go uh, into the like uh, the uh, small tour de france so uh, you massage around the entrance basically Yes, then um, we uh, go into the clitoris. So at the beginning, we pull the hood with our two fingers like this or like this. We pull the hood down that the pearl is inside. And then we, uh, we two, these two fingers, we can squeeze it gently and massage the clitoris. We can even feel sometimes this pearl uh, we massage uh, her indirectly, yes, while she is in the hood. This could be very ecstatic for the woman already. And then, when <coughs> later on, we pull the hood up with two fingers, yes, and we see the pearl. And then, very gently, always, especially you don't know uh, 
how sensitive it is, very gently you start massage, the, uh, uh, stimulate the clitoris. And yes, some of the women uh, like, I actually on Tantra Movement page, uh, I uh, posted some article, like there is percentage of the women. Some of the women like, uh, most of the women, they like uh, up and down strokes, yes? Uh, uh, little bit less of the women, uh, they like uh, uh, circular movements, yes? Some of the women like this, so uh, that's uh, direction. Some of the women, they like that direction. For some, doesn't matter direction. Uh, and then uh, some of the women like uh, side to side. Uh, so basically, if you know uh, what is your preferable stroke, you can tell the man also, you know, hey, this is what I like, you know, like uh, up front or uh, during, you know, like, uh, or uh, you can t discover all of them, you know, so, so, yes, so basically clitoral stimulation, uh, we will use during all the massage to keep the arousal, because there is one uh, very important thing um, about uh, healing all other points, is that the woman have to be on the very high arousal to feel those points, you know? This is the confusion about the G-spot. Uh, 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 very often the woman, they f feel, oh, I don't have it. Uh, or uh, uh, there are even people saying that it doesn't exist. And so, uh, and it's uh, uh, because the woman needs at least 20 or 30 minutes high arousal, being close to the point of no return, uh, to uh, feel it. To I would feel A and E. Uh, uh, also with the other points, yes. With all other points, yes. Uh, they very often, uh, to, uh, to feel something there, like ecstasy, the woman very often needs to be on the high arousal. Uh, I will tell you the story from my life about the perineum. Or, uh, perineum is one of the most ecstatic uh, Area uh, uh, is the muscle between the genitals and the anus, and uh, especially for the man because it's big uh, area for the man. It's one of the most ecstatic uh, higher points of the man. And uh, I, I was reading in the tantric books uh, about it and massaging myself, and I don't feel nothing. You know, like what is something wrong with me or with these books? And then uh, one day. Uh, keep it shortly, I discover uh, it, I start to massage it when I was on the high arousal. Wow, it blew my mind. It gave me such a different, beautiful, new way of uh, feeling ecstasy. And it was like never ending, I could continue. Mm -hmm. like, and, uh, uh, but before I was doing it without high arousal, I didn't feel nothing. I just felt like I massaged my hand, you know, like, uh, you know, like, so yes. Uh, so that's uh, 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 how it's important that the woman is on the high arousal. So that's why we use a lot of clitoral stimulation, but that's why she also has to use the signs. Slow down if it goes to the point of no return, because if she loses this energy, yes, uh, it's like all the power for the healing, what we can activate the other spots, it's lost. Okay. Then we go into the um, after discovering a bit playing with the clitoris, we go to the yoni mapping. So the yoni mapping, yes, as I said, this is the clock, and uh, yes, these are the hours: twelve, uh, three, six, nine. We always start with the six. So we pla basically place the finger or, uh, on the bottom of the entrance. And first we just hold it there for a while, just to feel. And then we uh, start with massaging just surface, yes? So uh, uh, on the entrance, yes? So basically, and we go always with the um, uh, yoni mapping. We uh, swing around our six, yes? At the beginning, we start with our six. So basically, we massage uh, like this. We don't enter yet, yes? We just uh, on the surface of the entrance. And uh, we uh, swing from the our four 
till our uh, uh, eight. eight. Yes, eight. So we swing around this eight. Uh, thank you. So and then um, we, uh, when I guide you, we go further clockwise. So we massage. Uh, we swing around our nine. So between our seven and eleven. That's where the name comes <coughs> from. And then uh, when I guide you, we go further, we swing uh, around our uh, uh, 10 and uh, 2, yes? And then when I guide you, we go further, uh, sometimes with the, like when we are inside already, uh, that's further on, uh, we will have to maybe sometimes uh, uh, change the position of our palm, yes? And then we swing. Uh, between our uh, uh, one and uh, five, yes? And then we come back to our six, yes? So we place our finger and then we feel, is she open, if she re is ready? If she's not, then we continue with yoni mapping on the surface, yes? We never push our finger inside, yes? Uh, if she's not ready, we put more energy into stimulating, playing with the clitoris to make her arousal and to make her open and ready, yes? So, so uh, we, as more she's excited, then she open herself. When she's open, we uh, go inside um, just to the, like two centimeters, to maybe first knuckle, you know, like, uh, so, and then we do the yoni mapping again. So we massage like this ring here. O we are on this, we, we massage here, and then we massage a little bit deeper. So we, we massage on this ring. And uh, again, we swing uh, around our six, we swing around our uh, nine, we swing around our 12, we swing around our uh, three, and then we come back to the six, we hold the, finger there and then we because we are already inside we may ask the woman okay uh, pull me in uh, with your PC muscle when she have strong PC muscle she will pull us inside when she's ready for further pen penetration and uh, we don't go fully in, uh, we don't let uh, our finger fully inside we just go another two centimeters uh, maybe to the next knuckle and then we do the yoni mapping again. Again, the same thing, you know? And uh, we are on the other ring. And on that ring, uh, uh, maybe even on the first ring, but most probably on the second ring, you can feel already on our 12, the G spot, yes? So, uh, but we don't stay there. We just do the yoni mapping, we continue. And then again, on our six, we ask the woman to pull further. We go another two centimeters. And we go like this, you know, depends how long the yoni is. Uh, sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer. Uh, so usually three, four times and you reach the uh, uh, bottom of the yoni. So you swing around that and then uh, after like this part of the yoni mapping with the clock, we do the massaging the cervix. You uh, feel in the middle the the, the end point and then you massage a little bit with just circling on the uh, surface of the cervix yes and yes so uh, that's about the yoni mapping and when we uh, finish the yoni mapping we uh, I guide you go back we go back to uh, work on the G spot so this was kind <coughs> of like um, exploring the yoni and feeling the yoni how uh, and this method um, it's very good uh, to heal also it's very good uh, uh, to diagnose uh, uh, where are the points what needs to be healed uh, the woman will feel oh here at uh, uh, during the workshop we would go all to the uh, G spot yes but you can remember, oh, uh, here I have pain. 
and then the man uh, uh, remember oh that was at the second ring at the hour three you know and then uh, she knows okay next time um, uh, I do the massage I will tell uh, to my lover to masseur uh, or, or whoever uh, hey there I have the poem and if the person uh, knows w uh, about the yoni mapping he would already okay then uh, I will heal you there. Then we go to the uh, G spot. The G spot, uh, like uh, G spot, is yes. As I said, the most uh, point what uh, needs to be healed. We stimulate it uh, with the movement of calm, like uh, when the woman feels uh, ready. Uh, you may also feel if she wants to have with two fingers, you may do it with two fingers. And with two fingers you do it uh, like uh, also come come, but it's like with two uh, like uh, alternatively, so it's like a bit like galloping. Uh, so yes, uh, mm. and uh, yes, uh, all the time uh, while you um, do the G spot stimulation uh, with the yoni mapping, we don't uh, uh, especially did so much. Uh, only when the woman needs arousal we do the clitoral stimulation but because we are ex uh, like kind of exploring and diagnosis it's better to not to be distracted by uh, the because she may feel oh this point i have ecstatic but if there is a, a ecstasy of clitoris then uh, uh, she is confused is it from clitoris or is it from there you know like so but during the when we go into like the that part of the healing we stimulate the clitoris all the time S like um, uh, alternate uh, alternatively with the G spot whenever sh the woman uh, sh shows a slow down uh, for the ecstatic reason then we may uh, stop clitoral stimulation but we continue with the G spot uh, maybe it would be still too much for her because uh, it's ecstatic and also can bring her vibrationally to the peak orgasm so uh, if it's still too much she will raise the palm like this yes uh, so uh, then you have to stop uh, uh, also stimulating the uh, you just hold finger then yes so um, yes you can uh, stimulate the clitoris with uh, your thumb uh, with one hand uh, and with other hand you can massage other parts you know it's always good now and again to massage all the body to spread this energy to all the body especially when she's uh, showing you hey i'm on the point of close to the point of no return do yes? you do that during the mapping as well and then the other no 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 during the, the mapping tips? rather not you know like only uh, in the when uh, the woman is very high aroused you know? okay. like, yeah so um uh you may also uh, uh, stimulate clitoris with uh, like w uh, with one hand be busy with uh, the G spot and with the another one uh, yes sometimes uh, it's easier and nicer for the woman i allow like if she feels to uh, stimulate her clitoris the best way how she feels uh, she will do it uh, uh, you know we let her you know because she knows how to please herself so uh, it's and make you also uh, less busy with it it's then she knows where to have to slow down uh, usually uh, very often before uh, uh, feeling the ecstasy uh, in the G spot uh, you have to go through the pain through uh, the emo uh, 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 like physical pain uh, it usually in the G spot it feels like it's irritating like uh, really like burning pain you know like the woman do like ah, you know like what's this you know it's not nice and you know um, with the physical pain uh, always if it's too much it's very important for you as a woman also don't go with the goal that you have to uh, heal everything at one session and so don't push yourself yes because you can traumatize yourself by pushing yourself so if something is uh, too much uh, rise your palm and the man will recognize this is not from the ecstatic she feel like this you know rather than ecstatic then you know when she's rising the palm to slow down it means uh, okay slow down with your approach so so maybe 
you know, like make the movement softer and uh, uh, slower. Yes, if she uh, do second time like this, it means uh, maybe you stop, or maybe uh, when she do like this, stop immediately. Then you stop, you know, and then you but you stay uh, uh, slightly pressure, pressuring the G spot, and w for the woman it's important that you breathe through it. You breathe into it, you focus uh, and you on your breath, and uh, if you feel, uh, very often you may feel some ecstasy already there, then uh, you focus on the ecstasy, this will help you to go through the pain. And yes, uh, guide the man, yes? So, and when you f breathe through it, you know, like if you feel, oh yes, the pain, uh, 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 this is the, uh, trans the, the uh, healing, you know, the pain, it transforms more and more into the ecstasy. When you feel, okay, I, I, I'm ready to continue, you just uh, give the sign to the man, okay, uh, go on uh, further. And um, yes, uh, especially, you know, like uh, during these moments, it's very good to keep the clitoral stimulation because as more ecstasy, then it's easier for the woman to go through the pain, yes? She can be focused on the ecstatic feeling. Is it possible that you don't feel ecstatic, like that you feel pain and it doesn't move? Yes, time? it is possible. Yes, it's uh, so. Uh, yes, then uh, I would suggest to uh, focus on the clitoral stimulation to feel ecstasy to go through. But of course, you know, you can do the same uh, uh, thing. You can. Uh, go through the pain without feeling ecstasy at all and then you may feel uh, like after stimulating the clitoris and uh, in some point uh, this would be uh, 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 like when you go through the pain f first very often you go through the physical pain like this irritation and so but then uh, you uh, or in the same time sometimes you may feel uh, uh, the emotional re release and that's very often you know with the g-sport it holds a lot of emotions there so you can feel uh, emotional release you can have some deep memory uh, uh, things uh, uh, what happened to you what uh, your mind blocked already and you don't remember uh, already uh, and the things from your past maybe from your child abuse or whatever can come out and uh, that's you know like yes also with your emotional pain if something is too much you know like this memory is so uh, you guide your partner. Okay, it's too much. You uh, slow down. Uh, give me a bit of time to adjust or stop immediately. Maybe you know it, 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 it's so much that you may always decide. Okay, this is enough for today. And uh, yes, please oh, never push yourself. That's the most important. Yes. And then um, yes. Um, um, Yes, after like the emotional release, usually uh, the woman who experienced the G-spot orgasm, uh, uh, especially G-spot healing, uh, especially, they say it's the best day in their life. From being held in the cage, living like with all these traumas, uh, 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 prejudices towards uh, men or towards sexuality, uh, they uh, suddenly like. Uh, get it rid of this cage and they got uh, one of the best ecstasy they ever experienced so they get the wings to fly and it's really they feel like uh, uh, since then they feel like flying on the passion of the life you know they feel like alive you know they say that uh, it's the biggest liberation uh, in their life they say very often that it's like being newborn in to new life like uh, Go, uh, entering the heaven from like being ha in hell that's what the wo woman all uh, very often say about the uh, when they go through the g-spot healing and of course this uh, may happen in any other parts it, stimulating the g-spot and uh, uh, together with the u-point so you have to uh, massage like uh, kind of like this you know like uh, with one, uh, one or two fingers inside and with the other rubbing the place between urinary hole and below the clitoris yes uh, uh, with uh, uh, when you stimulate enough that can uh, give uh, the woman the female ejaculation 
female ejaculation have common uh, with the male ejaculation only the word for the woman it's very good to have female ejaculation that's one of the intention of the tantric yoni massage to uh, 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 because the woman release a lot of trauma uh, release a lot of emotions especially when she goes through the healing yes later on it's just ecstasy, ecstatic uh, but yes especially uh, and she can have uh, uh, like during the session like i i had uh, uh, the woman who said okay i want to like yeah let's leave it open if you massage me for uh, uh, like hours I, I massage her for six hours and she had like uh, five ejaculations during the time and uh, like uh, yes she she healed everything you know like but it was no pushing no pre pressure you know she uh, just it took some time and it uh, like one after another she released more and more emotions and then now she experienced just pure ecstasy like this never ending uh, uh, orgasm uh, very often women block the female ejaculation for a very I would say um, a bit stupid reason like uh, they don't want to wet the uh, shit. They don't want to wet the mattress. Uh, they, uh, they, they feel that they pee and uh, they uh, uh, would rather go to toilet. <laughs> or, but it's uh, not possible that the woman would be on the high arousal and uh, uh, wanting to pee. If it happens uh, like that you feel uh, that you want to pee, it means uh, it's the female ejaculation is knocking to the door because it's close to the... Um, urinary bladder uh, then it that's how it, it feels but uh, if you are high arousal no and allow yourself to let it go don't worry it, believe me uh, 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 like when, uh, cleaning the sheet or the mattress it's really worthy of uh, uh, the healing what you will uh, uh, receive yes so always remember about this yes um, uh, also, like uh, during uh, like G spot stimulation, G spot uh, healing may happen during lovemaking. Sometimes when the woman or any other point, sometimes uh, uh, maybe you heard, uh, maybe you experienced uh, the, the woman start to cry uh, during the love or have other emotions uh, release. Uh, it's like the um, healing. So don't be discouraged. Just keep on making love. Keep on the same position, stimulating the same way and uh, she will have more and more ecstasy she will it's a blessing the next point is uh, so yes the g-spot you uh, massage uh, rather intensely the end point uh, if you will decide to massage the end point it's the hammering movement like far, uh, like also two times uh, um, two strokes a second and it's like hitting the cervix. That's why the woman very often like the deep penetration because uh, it's like and fast and hard because it stimulates the end point in the way how the end point like to be stimulated. So it's like hammering movement, like like penetrating. Yes. Uh, if you cannot reach, I would suggest you know also like if you don't have mass. So you may use dildo, any other tools to reach it. Yes, uh, if especially if needs healing. Yes, uh, don't think that the uh, sex toys are not allowed. It's they, they can be very useful. Basically, any point, even uh, if it's not mentioned here, but the woman feels somewhere, uh, you uh, uh, heal it in the same way, like with patience, with not pushing yourself. Uh, with uh, like giving each other communication signs you know like uh, uh, and uh, yes not going uh, not losing the energy of the uh, peak but stimulating clitoris to put uh, the woman uh, keep the woman on the high arousal I would say you uh, when you heal the point uh, one point at a time is more than enough you know like uh, I never do two points uh, if it uh, if it goes through the healing you know uh, sometimes one point needs a uh, few sessions to uh, heal completely. Yeah? Uh, how do you know 
at a point has healed completely. Uh, the woman feel pure ecstasy then, no pain anymore. And it's like, yeah, it's like this, uh, what I say, that do, uh, it's the best day in her life, you know? So if it happens, it always be uh, without pain? Uh, yes, basically, yes. If she's not uh, traumatized again, you know, like if someone didn't, was too horny and uh, went to her again too fast, because then again, you, know, you will uh, block, you know, and it can, you know, like the trauma can be like felt like as a blockage, as a pain in different points, uh, as a like being close also, yes, and also as a numbness, that the woman doesn't feel nothing, you know, like doesn't feel, because uh, that's the way how the yoni protects from the pain. Doesn't feel nothing, so it doesn't feel pain, but doesn't feel the pleasure also. So it's uh, that's why we need to heal. And for the A and the E spot, what kind of movements do you suggest or recommend? Anything you feel, you know, like it's, uh, uh, you know, like uh, with this are only specific. Uh, but also if the woman feels like, oh, uh, massage me slowly, especially like, for the ecstatic reasons, you know, like you really choose, and uh, uh, in tantra we really variety with the like. Sometimes uh, you know we do it slowly, sometimes fast and wild, you know, like uh, uh, we're not uh, in the one uh, polarity. We play with uh, many different. You know? So yes, uh, one day you may feel like oh I prefer slowly. One day uh, uh, may feel oh. Uh, do it hard and fast. I would maybe tell you a bit about uh, the Yoni X. Uh, some of you may know. The Yoni X uh, uh, are your, uh, I would say, private masseurs. You know, like uh, um, one of the reasons of Yoni X is to train the PC muscle, what are very crucial uh, when you use the Tantra, when you use the, uh, not losing the energy, but using the energy. With the PC muscle, you shut the energy up, yes? Uh, with the breathing, you suck the energy up, yes? Um, and then you visual, uh, the uh, third thing what you do, you visualize the energy, that um, the energy follows the attention, uh, yes? So that's why we visualize. When you visualize that the energy goes, like with the breathing, when you tight your PC muscle, with, you visualize that it goes from your genitals, up through your spine to the level of the heart chakra and then with the breath out you relax the PC muscle and you breathe out and you visualize that it goes back to the genitals. When you are close to the point of no return for the man or for the woman, yes? Uh, when uh, you uh, then you do uh, five or seven of these circulations and in that way, you may feel that uh, uh, you are far away from the point of no return. And what also nice, you brought all this too much ecstasy, too much energy, what was ready to explode and get lost, you brought it to the heart. So you are more connected to yourself, more loving yourself, more connected to the partner, more loving your partner. So yes. Uh, uh, that's the way you use it, don't lose it, it's, um, to achieve these uh, higher types. And as more you train your PC muscle, so the muscle what you use to stop peeing, you know, then uh, it's more efficient of shooting this energy up. And this is uh, what is very crucial in Tantra, to train this muscle. I'm training it right now while I'm talking to you, nobody see it, it doesn't take my attention, so I, it doesn't cost me nothing but it gives me tremendous benefits, not only on the sexual level, but for the same reason they use it in yoga, in Tai Chi, in Qigong, to shoot the energy up, not to lose it. Yes, so on the energetical level it also, and uh, yes, on the self-esteem, uh, on the health reasons, uh, especially in this area, uh, on the um, mental, uh, psychic level, it helps on all levels so, and it doesn't cost you nothing. So I encourage you, start today, make the squeezes. And for the woman, yes, the woman have advantage of the yoni egg. This is to uh, train this muscle.
sorrows will float on.